Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun, and I have a little video for you here. I noticed one of my knives is starting to develop a little bit of rust on here. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. You gonna show up? It's a little bit of rust right here starting to show up. This usually happens if there's moisture on these blades since it's a higher carbon steel blade. And since I live in Florida, I do keep my carving tools in the garage, so we have a little bit of high humidity. So it, it's possible that it started to come up from that from just either leftover oils on my skin, like if I leave my fingerprints on here for too long and don't wipe it off. I clean my blade and then wipe off all the water or just moisture in the air. But it's relatively easy to clean off if you are if you just notice it. So what I have here is just my uh, 2000 and 1000 grit sandpaper block, which I'm gonna use to start off with. And then I also have my uh, leather strop. I probably would not start off using my leather strop first because I don't wanna get any rust particles up on my strop. But this one, I'm gonna start off with the 2000 grits side here and see if I can remove a little bit of that. Since it's on the edge, I do want to make sure um, that I get both sides because just in case the rust started wrapping around yet, I can already see it starting to, to disappear here. Yeah, so a couple more passes. It, it should be like a really, really easy thing to do here, especially if you're, you just noticed it. If it's really deep, you might want to get more aggressive with maybe 1000 grit sandpaper or even take it down to your uh, sharpening stone again to try and remove it. Yeah, I almost got it all the way out of there. So I think just a couple more passes to remove a little bit of the the deeper spots. And this should be all good. So don't freak out if you actually start seeing small rust spots. It's easy to take care of. Yeah, it's mostly gone now. I need to do the other side because I can see a burr forming on the, the edge. Make sure you keep those edges even. You don't want to overdo one side and then have a uneven edge walking down there. So almost there, almost there. This would have been probably a little faster if I took it to the 1000 grit side, but I made my choice. And yeah, that's mostly gone. You set it up with a leather shop and I think it's, it's all good from here on out. Eh? That's really about it guys. It doesn't take much to remove rust from your blade, so don't worry about it. Just give it a good good cleanup. So one of the things you can do also to prevent rust from forming up on your blades is when you're done carving with them and you're about to store your tools again, go ahead and just wipe off your, your tools from any of like the dust or oils from your skin uh, off the blades. This will help prevent you from uh, building up rust over time and like I said since I'm in Florida if I store my tools in the garage There's still a possibility that they might get some rust on them primarily because well There's high humidity in the air here in Florida So what I usually end up doing is get a little bit of like three-in-one oil or just like any sort of like multi-purpose oil and do a light coat of on top of my my tools here So it doesn't have to be like a super thick coat, but I do like to store them wet this helps just make a protective layer on the steel and it's less likely to the rust. Um, I don't know about if you want to use like a WD-40 or anything like that because that does have some solvents in it. Just some standard oil, like 3-in-1 or maintenance oil is good enough. Just put on a thin layer. It helps prevent it from getting rusted out and it... Uh, I'll keep your tools looking nicer for longer. There you go, just a really nice thin layer and that's really it. You can store it long term and you won't have to worry about them getting rusty on you. That's primarily it guys, just from here just store them in your preferred tool rolls or in this case I have a, oops, sorry camera, I have a little kit here from Beavercraft so I'm just going to put it, put it away. I don't remember where I had each one of these tools, I'm just going to guess, doesn't matter. They get pulled out anyways. And there we go. And that's it. Just put it away, store it. And you should be done. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have yourself a good day.